So I have two valves here. This one was on a train chiller. It kept giving me low superheat alarms once a week. Um, I verified that the suction temperature sensor and the pressure transducer were accurate. So it's kind of <clears throat> scratching my head for a while. But what I finally noticed is when this valve would close all the way, they make a little clicking noise. So you know the valve is closed and kind of overdrives it a little bit. <clears throat> but what I noticed is that when it closed, after a little bit, it would start to leak by. And it's supposed to close 100% um, of the way. So I figured the pin or the motor was the issue. <clears throat> Swap motors still had the same issue. I put the old motor and pin assembly on a new valve. Um, same motor, same valve. This one's just an uh, angle valve. And this one's just a straight through valve. So I swapped them and I noticed that it was still leaking by. It looks like the pin, I mean the seat is worn out. I shine some light. Um, I'll take it apart so you can see them. I thought maybe the pin was damaged, but it ended up being the, the seat inside the body. So let me take them apart real quick. So the motor is just unthread. It's got a little gasket. They're really hard to unthread and you have like almost no room. But anyways, with this SMA12 tester, you can run the pin in and out. So at first I thought maybe just the pin was damaged. But like I said, when I swapped them, the old motor <clears throat> closed this valve 100% of the way. The seat's not um, repairable. In, in the manual, it says it needs no service or well, you can't really service it anyway. So So if you have an issue like this, I could recommend just replacing the whole valve. <clears throat> In some instances, <clears throat> you can just replace the motor if it's shorted out or something, but <clears throat> I'd still be a little bit worried that the seat is worn out. So if you, if you had any situations like this, just let me know because I mean, as far as I know, these valves are pretty good. So, let's see. So you can kind of see how it works. Just don't. Um, run it out too much because uh, this will fall out but you can put it back in so I put it back on the valve the clicking noise so it should be shut but like I said it's still leaking by I can still blow through it <clears throat> so I put the old motor the gasket Probably open it first.
I'm gonna close it as I blow through it so you can hear it. That's 100% closed. It's a good little tool. Thanks to my, my good buddy for letting me borrow it. Y'all might know him. This is what happens if you <clears throat> run the pin all the way out. It's just threaded. But you just set it back in place and open the valve and should draw it back in that's in there